Hello everyone, welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 26 of my Chained Echo playthrough. Last time we finished up the Tomb of Reyna, got picked up by the church, and are now on their floating sky city or whatever it is. So we're just going to take a look around, have a, have a few laughs, uh, deal with the fallout of losing the Grand Grimoire. I think your Lisvian friend is doing better as well. He went out for a stroll. All right. Uh, Killian swiped it from the church right under their noses, as a matter of fact. So that's probably not something we need to worry about. After all, Killian's a trustworthy, honorable, stand-up kind of guy. Oh, wait. No, he's not. You're the guest of His Excellency, aren't you? I hope you enjoy your stay. Maybe we can finally recruit that other guy. Rafa what was his name? Raphael? Something like that. Fresh air? No, I'm fine. I'm going to stay here. Tiana doesn't look so good. She probably needs a nice ice devil pudding. Um so that's it, huh? Alright. Any Wow. Alright. Pretty big area to explore. Can I... No, I cannot ride my sky armor. My training is complete! Day after tomorrow, after tomorrow, I leave Marlea and take over the management of a retirement home in Do. Do? Do. Latest numbers just came in. The current percentage of homelessness in the Arns Reich has dropped to under 5%. We have our free shelters to thank for that. Well, congratulations. Uh, how do I get up there? Or is it just for looks? No, there's a door there. I guess I don't get up there from here. Okay. Salvation through progress is our credo. Not a bad credo. It's just... We know that the church is up to some incredibly shady things. Is that it? What if I go down this way? Oh, you're interested in how the church is structured? Sure. The Gandbrandt Society consists of various departments that serve to improve the world through technological advancement. This includes the church. Although the society originated from the church, it is now an equal department. We want all people who are to participate in God's work to be on the same level. Many people do not understand this because they think that the church and a secular corporation are antithetical and antithetical to one another. God has shown us God has shown us that this fusion works. Thanks to our faith, we cultivate people and open them to techno technical progress. The church is called the cultivation department within the organization. But we rarely tell them that to the outside world because it doesn't sound particularly religious. Church is financed by donations from their believers and the income of the Grant Gandbrandt Society. I'm gonna want to keep putting that R in front of uh, after the G for Grand. Every department of the Gandbrandt Society has the same level of authority. The church is one of them. Together, we tr we are trying to lead Eldrea to a better future through techno technological progress. Goodness. Um. Okay. I've heard that Sir Eva was once called the Boar of the Northern Sky. She supposedly is known to fight fiercely in battle. If I go this way... Alright, there is a dead end over here. This is my second time in Amarlea. Last time was about mm, 250 years ago. And... Uh, Air's memory is not all that much better than a Hume's, so I don't remember a lot. I do keep a diary, but it can fill a whole bookshelf, which is why I seldom carry it with me. Ha <laughs> ha ha
Um, yeah, we needed to go... All right. Uh-oh. Hmm? What's Amalia doing there? All right, Crest. Time to learn how to do this small talk. I'll just go over to somebody and say something. Politely. What are you staring... <sighs> I mean, how are you doing, Bethras? We're doing fine. Why do you ask? Your arms and legs... So, they belong to your son? Not exactly. They are my son, or at least parts of what is left of him. Can you communicate with him? No, that's impossible. But I can sense him. I can feel his ether. Well, that's... something. You're asking a lot of questions while keeping a lot of secrets to yourself. Secrets? You saw my past as I saw yours. Yet, we did not see everything. Uh, true. It would most certainly be fair to lift these secrets of mine since I saw yours. I think I know what you would at like to ask. What did I pay, correct? What did I offer to receive this curse? The power of healing was not cheap. I thought I could offer one of my siblings, but they meant rather little to me. So the masked man did not accept them. Of course he wouldn't. He wanted to get rid of them. So that would have been too convenient. Fortunately, yes. So instead I paid with a part of my life. I paid with my future. Your future? All the years that I would have lived in this world, I offered them. Don't tell me. I don't have much time to live. Maybe a year? Perhaps two? That's a high price. At least with the power of healing, I have the chance to help a lot of people before I leave this world. You're strong, Amalia. No. I think I received the curse because I was too weak. I was just another victim of the palace's intrigues. But contrary to my siblings, I received the chance to live a few years longer. I was lucky. I was not strong. You were a child. You didn't have to be strong. It is the parents' task to protect their children. Your parents failed. So did I. Anyway, we wonder if there is a way to lift the curse. There is. I most likely will not find it within my lifetime. Maybe not. Woo, heavy. I think I should return to the hotel. My body hasn't recovered completely yet. Um, That doesn't... That might lead there. We want to go to the star. Well, the whole area. I better not, just because I'm not sure where that'll take me just yet. You look a little unbalanced to me. If you want to stay in good health, then a good night's sleep is essential. Oh, if only it were that easy. Um, okay, so I didn't go... Right, okay. So I, I could have come from there if I so chose. So let's... Yeah. Having such a big place as Marleya up in the air is nothing special for us Arnrikers. We're a nation famous for our airship technology. We have a few airships as big as this city. And have you ever seen the Genos Caravan? That's even more impressive. Yeah, this is nothing. Um, Alright, so maybe we cover this edge over here. Merchant? High Inquisitors are... High Inquisitors are only allowed to take off their helmets in private and in front of the Pope. However, Sir Wyatt doesn't even do that. He must have taken a vow or something. You wish to buy anything, kind sir? Mm, perhaps. Oof. Uh, I need all of these, don't I? No, I might have... I might own all of them already. Um, I'm not interested in that. Golden breastplate, leather... Ah, I don't need any of those. Sweets. I'll buy two more. 
Here's an act. Angel Wing. Buy a few more. Oof. These are the ones I need. Yeah, alright. We'll buy five of those. And then... I'm not sure about these. I can do that later. Alright, we didn't get any new deals or anything. Len, there you are. Oh, you're conscious again. What a relief. Um, but your face is still marked by paleness. You should probably have stayed in bed. Listen to me, Len. I... Uh, I had another dream. Until now, I couldn't remember my previous life. I still don't remember everything. But now I know who I was. Oh, that's great. I'm happy for you, Glenn. I couldn't explain it until now, but I've always had a familiar feeling being close to you. I realized that back in Kortara when we were stranded alone. So we know each other from our previous lives? Didn't you have that feeling? I'm not sure what you mean. I was a teacher in the Order of Leonar. No, that can't be. Remember how you almost died and we had to send off your echo? I remember... I followed you shortly after that. It's me! I'm Timothy! You're Timothy? Oh! <laughs> Just... Oh, wow, that would be so crushing. I know it's unbelievable, but... I... I don't want to believe it. Then wait! Let go of me! What's wrong with you? I don't get it. Wow, sudden... Oh, uh, well... I was gonna say sudden turn from Amalia, but she has trouble... being nice. But... You have no decency at all! From one day to the next, Lynn is overwhelmed with the memories of a lifetime. It's lucky she's still sane. She probably just needs some time to sort through her memories. Time? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Yeah, time. That's why she acted the way she did just now. Your Highness, the visitor from Marley is here. Bring him in. Frederick's voice changes from one episode to the next. I can't keep it straight. What did you say your name was? Gillian, your Highness. Your information about Marleya was served as well. I noticed. It did not escape me on the way here. You are mobilizing your troops. Very keenly observed, and that's why I'm afraid I won't be able to let you go. But speak, what brings you to us today? That's... The Grand Grimoire! How did you come into its possession? I took it from your sister. Don't worry, I didn't harm her. She doesn't concern me anymore, but why are you bringing it to me? You know what it is that you're holding there in your hand, right? I do. I brought it because you are the true ruler of Valandis, and this weapon is yours. You are the rightful owner. Is that what you think? Your Highness, I think Killian's deed deserves the greatest reward we can offer. He has brought us the weapon that will forever protect your realm. Indeed. You have the infinite gratitude of Tern. You may have whatever you wish for. Gold, some land, title of nobility, anything you want. All that, and a place in the ranks of the generals, along with their power. Are you serious? <laughs> what insolence! But after General Goodfer Godfrey's departure, we actually are in need of a new replacement. Killian was your name. If you want all that, then I'll make you a deal. And of course, we don't get to see it. Uh, sure. Sure. That's typical. A nice little surprise for us in the future. Uh, maybe I should go inside here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. We can. Due to the war in Nebrelia, all of our orphanages are over capacity. That is why we're transporting these Nebrelian orphans to their new homes in Vati. Vati? Vati. Whatever. 
I'm from Nebrelia. Everyone thinks it's always hot there, but they don't know how cold the nights can get. Many of my friends don't know either, and froze to death. I miss them. Wow, kid. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Did you know that all of our Sky Armor technology is based on the three legendary Seraph Armors? They are called Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar. Well, thanks for that. Where is this last treasure chest? I... Oh, let's try going through this door. Maybe it'll... Maybe it'll connect to that one up there. Otherwise, I have to run all the way back around. We must increase the food supplies to Nobrelia. Due to the length of this past war, population is hardly anything to eat. Okay. That's one. Did I miss one over here? Mm, I don't see it. Okay. Our income has been looking rather dismal for the last few months. We, unfortunately, had to close a couple of orphanages in Pangea. Nectar, okay. Well, how do I... Oh, okay, there's a gap right there. Right there. And it does look like it might connect to the others. Yes, okay, good. Church's concept of loving your neighbor as yourself surely only applies to other members of the church. Right? Okay, that's not where the treasure chest is. Where the heck? Ah, uh, whatever. Lord Marcus is often accompanied by a dark sky armor. He must be something like his privileged uh, private bodyguard. What was the pilot's name again? Endhart? I think he must be an heir, just like Lord Marcus. Truth to be told, it feels a bit strangely strange to be here. Charge brought about the demise of my village. Luckily, I'm the master of my emotions. I can control myself. <laughs> mm. I guess I do have to go. All right, well. Good thing I didn't run all the way past it. You, uh, no, 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 no. We're trying to get up and around. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay, up and around we go. Maybe it will lead us to that other section. Mm, it does not. So, where's this other... Higher floors, sure. This is His Holiness audience chamber. He's currently not available, which is why the queue is so long. And... Uh, oh, he's just super excited for the stuttering. I'm so noivous! I'm noivous! There have been a lot of orphans in Raban since the war. We need more money to help them all. All right, we have all the information on... Weoth Gun, sorted. We must convince His Excellency that they are in need of a new church. I told them all that His Excellency is currently not available. They're still waiting in lines. And I can't go any further. Alright, whatever. We might have to come back here and meet with him in person. Okay, so that's this area of the map. City floor? Is that where I was before? Now there's two treasure chests, so I guess I wasn't here before. Andrew's forbidden. Oh, the the Holy Mother's Fellowship. Um, you may pass, of course. I guess. 
Although I advise against it. It's okay, I just want to plunder your, your base. This works torture, I tell ya. But at least we have food and a roof over our heads. It's worse than other parts of the world. Now hurry up! God will notice your half-hearted behavior. I had to cut it. He cussed. The work is demeaning. The work is demanding and drains of you completely. But for God, we gladly devote ourselves. If we are hardworking enough, we might move up. I hear the R&D department has some great working conditions. They don't beat you, for one. At home, I was taught not to associate with such people, but the Church of God showed me that even these people are human beings. What do you mean, you people? Everyone who is dissatisfied should work harder. The diligent will be rewarded. I saw that glow of a treasure chest over there. You'd think that we would only be eating watery soup down here, but we were actually getting large chunks of meat for every meal. What, am I, what animal is this meat coming from? Oh boy, you should learn how to ask the right questions if you want to stay happy down here. Yeah. Yeah. There's only, like one kind of animal on this floating city. What do you think the meat is coming from? New supplies have arrived. Look at that leg. That must have been a huge cow. As big as a monster, at least. They think they had it hard here? Do you know how hard it is to stand for hours doing nothing? this place, our proficient tinkers are working on our machinery. The work may be challenging, but those who are particularly talented may move on to the R&D department. What should I do? Oh my god. I had to bring this poor woman in there a horrible message. Her husband died while making repairs at the outer walls of the city. He was so exhausted from all the work that he wasn't concentrating and missed a step. How am I going to tell her that? I don't know. Bad news in a good way? Oh, just one? Oh, that was somebody's life savings. There are more workers here than beds, but since we work in shifts, it's not a problem. Oh, this face, this face's content smells like... Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Till hell a week ago, my husband has to do all the work now in order to support us. Well, he won't be doing any more work to support you. What do you mean? Just... You're gonna have to support yourself for a little while. He's been pulling some all-nighters. He won't be doing that again. No, oh, I can't go in there. Uh, alright. Well, I got every treasure chest here, so it's just... That last one's hidden somewhere... ...outside, and I need to, uh... ...find it. I don't know where it is. I must have missed it. Somehow. It's outside. So that narrows things down a bit. Hmm. It looks like... Oh, well, maybe I missed... How do I... It'd be faster to do this. Alright. That's an outdoor thing, so maybe I did miss that one. And then if I come back up here... Right. Okay, I didn't go through... Alright. From a technical standpoint, the society, uh, the Ganbrad Society is superior to all nations. I mean, look around. We live in a flying city, for crying out loud. With any kind of flying islands at all. The society itself is based in Valeria. I think I have parade armor already? Yes. Okay, time to go back to bed, I guess. And then she just doesn't talk to us. What is going on? Everyone... Uh, Victor. Everyone's here now, Sienna. There's something I have to explain to you. I know you won't be able to believe me, and it will be the biggest surprise of this trip for you, but I have to get it off my chest. I was once a part of the church. I know, shocking. We know that. Wasn't it obvious? How could we not have noticed? What? 
You belong to the church? You knew. Well, except maybe Eagle, apparently. How? You were well informed about the facilities in Shambhala. You seem to know High Inquisitor Raphael. And likewise, this Hoyt. Huh. Well then. Sorry to have stolen your time. Anyway, uh, to wrap it up. I uncovered those facilities in Shambhala and other crooked business and left the church. I've been traveling the world ever since. I'm just surprised no one in Marley recognizes you. As High Inquisitor, I always had to wear a helmet. Ordinary residents and soldiers don't know my face. You had the rank of High Inquisitor? That's surprising, and I just accidentally double-clicked the button. I wouldn't have thought of you capable of it. Ha ha ha, yes, have fun at my expense. I'm being honest for once and have earned nothing but mockery. Thank you, Santa, for telling us the truth. It may tease you a little, true, but it means a lot to us. Thanks. Well, that's it. Let's return to our rooms. Okay. Can't you sleep, Rob? I don't understand you, Sir Eagle. I'm the reason you're ranking your brains. Racking your brains? You should hate the people of Marleya with all your heart. They have oppressed your village and ultimately brought it to its death. Forgive me. Sorry. Sorry. Hmm. The church is to blame, that's true, but does that make every single resident guiltily guilty? They belong to the church, isn't that reason enough? There can be many reasons why each one of them is a part of the church. However, not every one of them were involved in the fate of my people. Should I just condemn them all? It would be the easiest thing to do, but would it be the right thing to do? You look at it so logically. Common people who bullied me in the court of Tormund. I hate them with all my heart. Sir Eagle, you're a noble knight. Doesn't your pride hurt when you walk through Marleya? Ah, it's the death of my people that painfully pains me, but mere revenge will not bring them back. And certainly not if I take some random citizens as easy targets just to satisfy my need for revenge. If I did that, then I would be ashamed of myself. This would really hurt my pride. I understand. Wish I could see it the same way as you, though. Well, what's keeping you from it? I wonder. Ironically, my pride is keeping me from being proud of myself. Are you sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not sure. Our first priority is Len's well-being, after all. Click. If we had only been conscious, we could have stopped her from coming here. If you really plan to kill him, it will throw the entire world into chaos. Are you aware of that? No, it will actually save the entire world. Uh, take our word for it. Kill who? The Pope? You've screwed up! What if Killian returns the stone to King Frederick? Which he's already done. Um... Raphael, what was your voice like? Even if he brought them the grimoire and gave away our position, they won't be able to mobilize so quickly. Besides, we found Reyna's tomb. There's no longer any reason to stay in Volandis. Enough! I don't want to hear any more. Away with you! You do not deserve to meet the Holy Mother. What a jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Excellency, Princess Celestia Valkyria of Tern is here. At last! I, I, I'm, I, I'm honored to be able to greet the Holy Mother. Who would have thought that you would be reborn during my administration, of all times? I'm here because you wanted to speak with me. What is it? Your Excellency, leave the talking to me. You may also leave the room. But... Did I stutter? Very well. It's 
Celestia. Welcome. My name is Marcus, and I am the leader of the Gan Brent Society, which, as I am sure you know, also organizes the church. I know of Gan Brent, but originally you're from the Order of Leonar, aren't you? You know? Ah, very good. Did he just... What are you doing? How unexpected. The vessel is empty. The three guardians within you are gone. Three guardians? Celestia. You're here because I have to explain some things to you. The church is descended from the Order of Leonar, a group searching for a weapon that can defeat the Harbinger. We will work together to achieve this goal, but first, we have another common enemy. Speak of the vein. Indeed. They were supposed to wait for from their throne in another dimension for us to find a weapon. But the immortality they gained there went to their heads. They felt like gods who thought they could judge mankind. And that is why they created the Grand Grimoire and destroyed the human world over and over again. They were afraid that mankind would become too strong. They made sure that the population and progress itself would be set back for millennia. How is it that we don't know about this from history books? History is written by the survivors, and they are named by the vein. They decide what is written. Even we of the Order do not know how many times this cycle has repeated itself. That is also the reason why you maidens exist. Narratives change, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Over millennia, one story becomes another. However, you maidens carry the unadulterated knowledge in your memories. No matter how many centuries pass, you all know what really happened. Not because of the stories, but because you all have experienced everything yourselves. You are the truth of the Order. You really want me to trust you? Ah, I swear to God, I'm on your side. Is there really... <laughs> uh, is there really a God to swear to? It would have... I think. It n doesn't necessarily fit in the game's aesthetic, but it would have been funny if he said, I swear to you, I'm on your side. What is your reason for the monsters on Shambhala? Ah, uh, we need to use the Grand Grimoire to destroy the vein. But you know the true nature of the Grimoire? It must destroy life and absorb the ether to gain power. To kill the vein, we need to make the Grand Grimoire as strong as possible. This is why we created monsters that we could sacrifice to the Grimoire. After all, we don't sacrifice humans like King Frederick. But you sent the monsters to the surface of Eldrea. We send the leftovers to our safe stations on the surface because we have developed something much better than those little beasts. We've created lumps of flesh that house as much ether as hundreds of monsters. Is that what this is all about? To protect human life? We will have plenty of time to get to know each other better. Celestia. There are three things we need in order to kill the vein. The Grand Grimoire as a weapon. The key from the Tomb of Reyna. And, of course, the fitting door behind which the vein are hiding. Here, you can have the key back. I don't need it. So the key opens the way towards the vein. This is nothing more than a flower. I don't get it. And what about the Grand Grimoire? Please hand it over. We fought hard for it. Uh, well, there is a little problem. It was stolen from us. <coughs> what? You were going to take care of it. Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, it's your brother. Now's a bad time. Lord Marcus, we're under attack. Terrence troops have ambushed us. Impossible. How can this be? They could not have mobilized so quickly and caught up with us. Lord Marcus, our engine has been hit. Terrence generals are casting unimaginable magic. They have destroyed all the protective walls. So, this is the rumored power that destroyed Nabrilia. 
My lord, I've initiated all preparations for a counterattack. Oh, I thought he was going to be like panicky. Let's try that again. My lord, I've initiated all preparations for a counterattack. But for safety reasons, I advise you to get on a rescue ship with the Holy Mother. Our conversation must continue another time, Celestia. Something a little more pressing at the moment has presented itself. What is going on? Woof. Hey, you there! What's happening? Terran's attacking us! Get to the shelters, quick! King Frederick's attacking the church? Has he gone mad? We need to find Len and get out of here. Agreed. Woof. <clears throat> Oh, well, you guys are a little too late. No one's here, not even a soldier. They must have escaped in the shelter. Oh, uh, wait, that's not the Thras. They must have escaped in a shelter or rescue ship. Seeing the damage done so far, I'd pick the ship. You think they took Len with them? Of course. She's the Holy Mother, after all. They wouldn't just leave her to die. Come, I'll lead you to the way to the hangar. Maybe we can catch up. We need to get past these security doors. Yeah, yeah, it's so impossible to get past this security door. Oh, this door. We don't have the key for this door. Oh, well. Whose fault is that, Sienna? Hmm? Oh, dear. Why did I follow you? Please, get us out of here. I'll sell you some stuff, okay? Uh, so who doesn't have a thing that they... Oh, everybody does. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh. Why are these guys attacking us? These are church members, not... Oh my god. Alright. It's because we don't have Len with us. They're like, oh, intruders. Stop them. Let's do... Defensive, let's do attack. And then. I'm gonna guess that they cast magic. Okay. Hmm. Let's just toxic both of them. Okay, and she needs to heal. Are they weak against... Magical wind against both of them? Darkness. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, let's do... Eh, yeah, Disarm's not gonna do a whole lot against them. I think. Well... Let's inflict silence so that they don't have a... Nope. Still worked. That's a shame. Am I, a Am I able to attack it? I uh, can't steal. They don't have anything. Yeah, I can attack the vines. Alright, great. It's just... Okay, I see. Huh, disarm, whirling spear... Sure, we'll do this. Then attack the vines again. Stop trapping my healer. Thank you. And they're dead. Fantastic. Do I not have... Oh, I don't. Okay. Amalia, up and at him. Uh, let's heal. So I don't wind up losing her. 
right after getting her up on her feet. Um, I don't think this will kill either of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Need a Reyes. Well, hmm, I can't hit both of them. Yeah, I can't hit both of them. Could I heal all again? Probably for the best if I do, right? No, we're gonna take. We're gonna change back to Sienna. Okay. And down she goes. Wow. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Pacifist charm. What does that do? Where are you? Pacifist charm. 50% chance to gain no aggro per action. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, but this one crits. Oh no. Um shoot. And restores TP when switched out. Yeah, all right, we'll give Yeah, all right, we'll give the pacifist charm to Victor. Maybe we should pick a maybe we should pick some skills for the people we have here. card. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna save. Alright, I just went through and adjusted my skills. Oh, that goes somewhere else? Oh, no! Um... <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, at least I know I can't advance without getting the key, so I can't accidentally stumble stumble through. Okay, yeah, I was just checking if maybe the key I have works on any of those doors. Yeah. Fine. Tamed beast. Let's do shield, because I bet that's going to be a problem. Uh, and then heroic ode, sure. Let's hit the beast tamer. Skills cost no TP for... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, the healer has to die. The do you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we switch him out. And then... Grant's dodge. Chance to evade. Agility. All. Hmm. Lowers overdrive. Oil Slash. Water Strike. What are they weak against? Darkness? Crit Chance? Sure. steal from either of them. That's fine. I'll break this guy again. 
And then multi-shot again, sure. Physical attack deals damage, amount skills with user's agility, sure. Probably could have used that to actually just destroy the Beast Tamer. Grows stronger without its Tamer. Of course. Of course. You want to get rid of it. You want to get rid of him because he's healing the beast, but then, of course, that just makes him stronger. Ah, I don't need that. So we're over... Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. I can't go in there. Monster Fangs. Another key card. So where does that... Hmm. And I can't get down there. Alright. Alright, it's pretty straightforward. The map looks confusing, but it's pretty straightforward. So there's two... Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, which will allow me to go through three over here. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Let's check this one. All right, good. So it doesn't really matter. And then, sure, sure. Lynn! You're alive! Wait, they're my companions! We have to take them with us! Fine, but hurry! Oh! What? Uh, what are you doing? What is the meaning of this? Uh. Have you lost your mind? Don't believe anything Marcus says. He's just feeding you lies. What do you mean? Maybe the Vane are both our enemy, but that doesn't mean the Church is our ally. Marcus took control of the Church long ago, split it from the Order of Leonar. He is not one of us. On the contrary, he belongs to a sect that awaits the return of the Harbinger. Is this true? Again with the slapping. Why are you keeping this from me? My echo is awoken. I don't want to hear any more lies. You should not hide anything from me either. We understand. Forgive us. We've been silent for so long that we have to learn anew on how to trust. Well, I can help you with that. I'm sorry for hitting you. God help me! They murdered the Pope! Did he murder the Pope? Why did he go for the Pope first if the other guy was the one that was more important? Seriously, why? Enough rumbling, we must escape. Was that directed at me? Um, nothing over there. Nothing back the way they came, which doesn't have any exit. And where'd that guy go? That's suspicious. Right? Why is this here? There's no... Hmm... That is suspicious. So if I go up... Well, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's break everybody, sure. Okay, and then shield. And then heroic ode. And then start spreading the toxic love, baby. Uh, let's bring in Eagle so he can... Sure. Of 
Poor Amalia. <laughs> Poor Amalia. Um... How long does Toxic two more turn? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Ballad of the Wind, or do we switch over to Sienna? Yeah, let's just hit him. We want to spread that damage. Well... Let's load the gun spear, sure. Heal Rob, because he's suffering. Spread that toxic. Okay, good. Now what? Uh, yeah, let's let's give him the TP regen. More healing potions, fantastic. Well, I think it'd probably be smarter to hit the... Yeah, it's probably smarter to hit them with the break. Um, heal myself, obviously. Switch this out. Since he has dark, only hits one, huh? Poison Toxic, Poison Toxic, Attack Break. Okay, so do we focus on the Beast? Do we focus on the Beast or do we focus on the Tamer in the back? I'm going to heal with Victor, I think. So let's do... Tiger Punch! Dark Spear. Heal all. Uh, nothing to steal. Tiger... Tiger Rush follows Tiger Punch, right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's too close to dead. Let's switch him out. Um, who needs to be broken? Beast Tamer. And then we can do... Oh, I thought that was going to get rid of the beast. Well, hopefully this will do it. No, still alive. Great, 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 great. Okay. Who needs it? Yeah, we'll just raise Glenn. That's fine. Uh, and then summon to attack on the beast should be enough. Okay, where were we, where were we now? I've still got three missing. Oh no, I wanted to go back that way. Okay. I came up from here and I didn't get a chance to go this way. Oh. Okay, never mind. Can I go through here? No. So I need to... Go through these guys. Okay. 
Why do I still have... Who didn't... Oh, Len's back with us. That's why. Right. Right, 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 right. Next three magic attacks do 80% more damage. Lose 10 TP, but attacks get stronger. Normal attacks. Machine killer. Mag up. Tech points. Ah, let's do magic up. That'll increase her damage. I think. Does she have any room for it? Save TP? Sure. Wait, does it... Is anybody close on the SP? No. Alright. We can risk it a little bit longer. Uh, shield. Let's break that priest down, yeah? Let's heal. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's something. Uh, pandemic this guy. Encore? Sure. Alright, let's break the beast. Oof. Um... Now nah, let's just heal. Switch you out. Uh, dark attack. Keep up the damage. Might as well switch to Sienna then. Do it again. Hmm. Is he broken still? Yes. Okay. Good. We're we're doing pretty well now. We're strong. We're fit. We're hip. We're with it. Golden Brigadine. Ay. Is that better for anybody? No. We need Oh wow, it is. Oops. Um who had the parade arm plot armor? Right, the princess has the plot armor. Of course she does. I think it's fitting. Uh, that's C, and I don't have a key for it. So maybe this one? So if there's another fight in here. Tachi. Ooh, I know who that goes to. Oh, Sienna! PD, okay. Well, let's go back and go up to floor four real quick. Hopefully this isn't the way out. Oh, of course it isn't. Stylish accessory. Huh. Sunglasses. Stylish accessory. Ultra moves are more efficient. I really only use one person's ultra move. Hate increases by 50%. That's actually pretty nice to have. Huh. What do sunglasses... Sunglasses just give you, like, blind resist... Yeah, it's not... I don't want to keep that. Mind up. Agility up. 
cost reduction? I could... Yeah, yeah, let's do that, sure. Okay. The dumbwaiter? Looks like we technically could jump down from here. Sure. Oh, we can upgrade. Sure. Okay. Oh, let's save. Just in case I want to come back here and combine some crystals if we get into a fight that I can't win. Monsters are out of control! Help! Someone! Look at look! We need to help them! Are you crazy? There's no time for this! No, Sir Eagle's right. We can't abandon them. What are you talking about? You of all people! That's right! Me of all people! You're all fighting for your ideals? Well, I'm just trotting along after Len. I have nothing but hate and anger in me. I... Ooh. I don't want to be like that! Rob... Go without us! Sir Eagle and I will take care of these people. No, no, we won't leave you alone. We can't risk Lynn's life. If you care so much about my life, then help, and let's get this over with quickly. Thank you, Len. Okay, sure, yeah. Hello again. That's the wrong way if we're gonna help these people. Sure. Um, I'll break. And then, Toxic Shot. Spread the love. Shield. Heroic Ode, why not? Yeah, let's switch them out. switch to Sienna. Everybody gets the crit. Yeah, we're doing all right. Well, we probably do want to reduce the overdrive, though. Increase elemental root. No, we don't need to worry about that. I am going to need to heal Eagle, though. Uh, let's not do that. Perfect. <clears throat> we become powerhouses. We're so great. Thank you for saving us. That's it. Sure. Okay. No. Uh, there are more townsfolk. Okay. I, I didn't see that. Oh boy. It's gonna be a long one. All right. Shield them up. 
Alright, so we need a different approach to this fight, because uh, these four are going to take us a little bit longer. Let's do... Let's start with the eagle, then. Okay. No, not Rob. I need to be, be more careful about that. Let's do Requiem. Okay, do we want to use... Negates all physical damage for two turns for all party members. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Great. Okay. That is very helpful. Eagle? Now, are, is this guy still toxic and poisoned? Yes, so we can Pandemic. Okay. Let's get some crits in here. Right. Hmm. Disarm? Yeah, I think it would be... No. Hmm. Amount scales with user's agility. So let's raise the agility. Do we still have shield on us? Yes. Well, we don't need the healing, so let's do this. And then... Okay, maybe we <laughs> maybe we should look at actually um, lend energy. Yeah, let's give some Sienna Sim energy. Okay. Okay. We should probably go back to. Yeah, and then heal. That's fine. We want to break. Okay, probably, yeah, we could just heal. Uh, let's heal Glenn. And then, Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. We're so awesome. Thank you. Now back to the hangar. Follow us at a safe distance. We'll find our we'll find our way out of here. We're forever grateful to you. Thank you. Wait, there was What is this? You there! What's with all these monsters? Speak! On the Pope's command, we had to bring them here. From where? From Shambhala. The facilities on Shambhala? Was it this you were talking about, Sienna? 
All right, I think I'm out of time, and that'll be it for this episode. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time, stay safe, and God bless you.